Welcome to another installment of Peach's Pick. This week we'll be looking at Carnival Mayhem from Ludum Dare 45 Collection. Carnival Mayhem was developed by Mika Karkinen Kar- and Tomik S. Uh, in Carnival Mayhem, you are a young boy who is terrified of clowns. Within a nightmare, you are placed in a clown-filled amusement park to face your worst fear. Every round, you start with bare hands and pick up weapons as you go. Also, be smart with aiming, as almost everything is destructible. This will make paths for the clowns shorter paths for the clowns to get you. The game contains multiple unlockable levels with increased difficulty. You have access to four weapons, your hands, pistol, machine gun, and then also a grenade launcher. You unlock weapons, collect ammo from crates, uh, drop by defeated clowns, almost everything is destructible, and you can make chain reactions barrel explosions chain reactions from barrel explosions uh you use the mouse to aim uh the uh mouse button to fire the w s a d keys to move and you can also use one through four to choose different weapons the graphics are very smooth Smooth, the top-down perspective works perfect for the game. It appears as most of the art is 3D vector art with great use of colors and lighting. Because of the top-down perspective, this does limit some of the animations from the enemies and the players themselves. Almost everything else in the level does have animations. Fences smash, barrels explode, and tents come crumbling down. The audio is about the only area I found of this game to be lacking, and that isn't necessarily good a good word for it. There were perfect sounds for the for when you were attacking enemies and when they were attacking you. There were great sounds for everything that could be could be interacted with. The area where the sound was lacking, however, was the background music. And don't get me wrong, it was there. It just wasn't what I particularly like to listen to. I'm sure someone can make the argument that this gave the player the feeling that they were somewhere uncomfortable and they had to get out of there as soon as possible. Overall, this game was a home run and has been the best game by far that I've played from the Ludum Dare collection. The biggest area of the game that I thought could have been improved on is the background music. Again, that's my own personal taste talking. Thanks for checking out another week's installment of Peach's Pick. Hope you enjoyed. Bye now.